Overcoming the Spectral Bias of Neural Value Approximation. This is Ge Yang presenting on behalf of my co-first author, Anarag AJ. Q-learning with neural networks suffers from the spectral bias where it's unable to fit the high frequency components of an optimal value function. We can illustrate this problem by looking at a one-dimensional toy MDP problem with simple piecewise linear forward dynamics and two actions. The optimal Q function, it is actually quite complex. Now, if you run fit acculturation on this MDP problem, neural fit acculturation produces a very rough approximation that significantly underfits the optimal Q function. And this happens because between the updates of the target network, just a few steps of gradient updates occur. And if we compare this k to the number of gradient updates required to fit the optimal Q function under supervised learning, we quickly realize that we're under the early stopping regime where the network is far from convergence. And this is the regime where model bias and optimization interact in fairly complex ways. Therefore, to understand deep reinforcement learning with neural value approximators, we need to first understand supervised learning under the early stopping regime. Recent work in deep learning theory offers significant insight into how the neural network evolves under gradient descent. In particular, it, it uncovers a spectral bias where the convergence at a special frequency f is proportional to the eigenvalue of the net neural tension kernel, which decays rapidly for multilayer perception. We can visualize the cosine similarity between the gradient vectors of different inputs. And the strong off-diagonal terms means when we use the neural network as a key value store, the right operation that is keyed by the gradient vectors has uncontrolled aliasing between the gradients of input states that are far away from each other. And this type of crosstalk is reminiscent of the over-parameterized counterexample from Barrett et al. And the learning instability during all policy learning depends on the strength of the crosstalks produced by these off-diagonal terms in the neurotension kernel of the function approximator. So to overcome the spectral bias of neural value approximation, we need to produce controlled generalization that is local in nature. And the question is, how do we do that? Various recent work in natural language processing and computer graphics show the power of random free features and positioning codings. And they allow us to construct composite neural tension kernel that interpolates locally so that we can specify how the network generalizes during training. This composite function approximator, the Fourier feature network, can be implemented on top of an existing multilayer perceptual network by making single line change, by simply replacing the ReLU activation of the first layer with a sign on linearity. And this allows us to go from underfitting, as shown here using a multilayer perception, to um, high quality value approximation on the red that recovers all of the fine details of the optimal Q function. And the Fourier feature network also has the added benefit that it provides tunability, where we can make explicit bias variance trade off during learning by changing the bandwidth limit scale B, which affects the granularity of the interpolation. Improved off policy stability also allows us to remove the tar ne target network which removes a residual offset between the orange baseline here um, and, the, uh, and the blue baseline, which is our method. On the Monte Carlo domain, the state space is two-dimensional, so we can directly visualize the learned value function. On the left, we have the ground truth optimal value function produced by tabular Q learning. A four-layer multi-layer perception produces a very blurry value estimate, and increasing the depth of the network to 12 layers offers very little improvement and hyperbolic tangent activations causes further blurring to the function approximation. Fourier feature networks, our method, on the other hand, provides the sharp approximation that recovers all of the fine details. In this paper, we also extend our results to complex continuous control domains, including the DMI control suite. And what I'm showing here is the quadrupad, a difficult domain that has high dimensional observation action spaces. And this is a challenging domain for the multilayer perception baseline. For your feature networks, improve the sample efficiency and asymptotic performance via better value approximation. We also showed that 
the Fourier feature networks in general a better function approximator class that require much less optimization. And this allows us to match the state-of-the-art performance with only one-sixth of the compute on quadruped run and with just a quarter of the compute needed on Walker run. In summary, in this work, we investigate the spectral bias of near value approximation and show that a single line change via the Fourier feature networks allows us to overcome the spectral bias by reducing the uncontrolled generalization that are not local between input states and actions that are far away from each other. This one line change reduces our policy divergence to the extent that we can remove the target network on many domains, which further reduces the bias in the function approximation. And for more details, please refer to the project website. And thank you for listening.